Welcome to the Space Lab. I'm Cyber Settler. And today we are trying to make this challenge where we have a rotating space station using the hex module system. So what I've got here is um, uh, a pair of ships made with the hex module system, as you see. And I have two pairs of them connected uh, in the center by a rotor here. And I did this because um, I tried to make the rotating space station just by uh, overriding uh, the thrusters in one pair of them. So specifically these thrusters, these uh, thrusters here that um, thrust the, the ship downward. So the idea was th that each of these uh, ships would thrust downward and the thrusters were facing uh, different di directions from each other, the opposite direction. So this would make the, the system rotate. But it, it turned out that for some weird uh, physics um, of space engineers, this didn't work and what was happening is like th they behaved like they were in the the thrusters were in a line with the center of mass which is of course not true in a, re in a realistically f um, physics system so what I uh, did now is that I connected two pairs through a rotor. So the idea is to have this um, rotor rotating um, so it will force the system to, to rotate one around uh, the other. Well, I, I'm not sure if one will stay fixed and the other will rotate. Um, probably this is what will happen. Or if they are going both to be rotating. So let's test it. Um, I'm really um, wondering what is going to happen. I have no idea because <laughs> I didn't test it before I start recording. Um, so, but it will be interesting. So I tried to do this with uh, with Nomad and Java and it didn't work. That it was a disaster. It, the, the system wouldn't move at all. Okay, so I think uh, we are all set. We should be set. So... Okay, so um, the purpose is to have artificial gravity right like this is the realistic way to generate gravity like to have a system rotating so the the length of the cable here is um, around 500 meters from one end to the other in fact it's a little bit less like 400 um, it's like 450 or so and this calculated in such a way that if the system is rotating at about two revolutions per minute um, the gravity that we we would feel here would be around 1g that means uh, the same as the earth the, the surface of the earth and here I set up uh, an experiment where I let uh, a mass drop and it should end uh, in this place here, in this yellow spot here because it will drop downward and um, here in the in the platform we should like have uh, a feeling we, we would feel um, an acceleration like the, the the gravity that we feel on earth 
so if now I have li uh, like the magnetic boots if I jump I will drift away but if uh, we were to have like the system rotating then it will keep me stuck to the to the to the surface here well I will jump and and it will be like jumping uh, in a gravitational field so the idea is to take this ship right here and start the rotation let's see so this one should be fixed and I would have the system rotating at a speed of two revolutions per minute and there we go so what is happening nothing is moving right I thought uh, because before I was testing with um, with only the 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 ship without the uh, the station uh, plug into this rotor and it was rotating like the ship was rotating so let's see. Should be this one, right? Uh, okay. No, it doesn't. It's fixed right here. Okay. That's strange. It doesn't move at all. It just doesn't move. Ah, there I, I got to like move a little bit the, the the ship, but this is because I'm rotating with the gyroscopes. But the rotor is like not rotating at all. What else can I do? Share. Hmm. No. Uh huh. I, I think it's moving. Ah, it's moving. It's moving. Okay, it's moving guys, so I wonder at which speed is it moving? I doubt that the, that the speed is like two revolutions per minute, what do you think? I... I Yesterday I prepared a timer and all to 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 measure the the, the speed, the rotating speed. But it's moving, right? It's just that it's for me. It seems like it's moving very very slow. Ah, uh, and I think yes. They are rotating one around the other. So they are both like moving. 
okay that's interesting so that means that i would need to um double the speed and is there enough space here between both i hope they don't crash <laughs> I, I left yes i left barely enough speed um enough space i mean i was thinking about the speed of rotation okay i would um let's put some more speed um i will double it because if they are rotating one around the other then the speed should be four let's try it so now it should be faster right that should be faster so <coughs> I really don't trust that this is moving at the rate I expect. It seems to me that it's moving so slow. Um, but I will measure it. Let's measure it. This is my. This was my my measuring tool. My measuring ship. This with the red symbol here. But in that case, I would have to remove these red markings here as well. Let's see. But this is already an achievement, huh? because yesterday um, that we tried this, it was not moving at all. Not moving at all. And I didn't know this uh, behavior of the of the game, like this uh, weird physics. And it's a pity because well for me it was quite straightforward like um, if I <laughs> like if I have these um, overridden thrusters like uh, pushing one in the opposite direction of the other it would naturally rotate and it was not working and we were like what the hell what's going on um, why it doesn't work so the trick here I, I have to take I need um, a, a clock a timer uh, to be precise I need a timer and this timer measures one minute and I um, need to see if if it completes well it should complete two revolutions once the minute is over so let's uh, I, I seriously I doubt that this is the case so I'm starting now I have I am aligned to the um, the Magellan Galaxy or Galaxy Cluster, this Magellan Cloud, because I have the um, the Milky Way Skybox. But I doubt that this is is very slow. This is not two revolutions per minute. No way and wow it's not even a quarter of it it's amazing it's not even a quarter of it okay It's not even a quarter of it. So, um, it's very slow. Very, very slow. <coughs> so, how much should I...
how much should I have here? What happens if I... This doesn't have any effect, right? The sea, I thought that the dampers will, will do something. Let's see. So, what happens if I increase the speed to 10? Is that faster? Here in your shut down. So. Wait, guys. I I would like to copy this because I don't know if it's going to break at any moment. Okay, I have it there, so I can copy it. So I will in. Increase speed. Let's see. Only until 30, right? 30. Okay, that's 30. But I don't see, I don't see that it's, it's really. I think it's like a constant speed. It's the same as before. So I think that's the fastest it will go that's the fastest it will go so and it's not even it's the same speed it's the same speed there's no difference So the gravity here is very small. I think it's not even one quarter of the one quarter G. I'm measuring here in the time. One eighth, I will say. One eighth. One eighth is the is the gravity. One eighth G. Okay. So that would mean um, that's not even the gravity on the moon. Right? Let's see, just for curiosity, say if I just so if I jump. I still will fly away. I'm jumping and I'm flying away. We could make this experiment here. 
So, yeah, it's falling very <laughs> slowly, as you can see. And it has like this uh, small um, small com component, but I, I saw this already um, when testing it like um, static. I don't know why uh, the merge block gives the... the the block some speed to the to one side for some reason In there okay so that's it it <laughs> it makes miss the mark it missed the, the mark there But let's say uh, beside that a uh, small component that it um, that it gives to the to the block it it's behaving uh, as expected. It's just that uh, the gravity is very small, unfortunately. Okay, so what do you guys think? Tell me in the comments below because <laughs> I'm disappointed of uh, th this uh, behavior of the game and here you can see the 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 whole assembly thing and the whole system and you see that it's so slow rating well this is the best uh, i can I, I could do with this thing so let me know in the comments what do you think how um, this could be improved this is a, a little trick I um, I used here to m make this rotation. I don't know if uh, I was looking for some maybe some script uh, where this could be more like uh, a script that would make uh, a ship rotate. I know that uh, some have done such a, a script but it's mainly to point weapons or, or so um, also there was a, a post I saw a post in the in the Keen software forum pre precisely this discussing this uh, this problem with a rotating space station but the post well in, in the post uh, the person was saying that he couldn't do this. Okay, so I think we'll wrap it up here. Thanks for watching and remember to like the video to support the channel and let me know what do you think in the comments. Bye!